Hi everybody, uh, this is Jude Sullivan with Don't Overpay and I'm with uh, my friend here Matthew Beckering and we're at Madison Laser Therapy. Um, so Matthew, thank you for giving us some time today, appreciate Absolutely. that. Yeah. So uh, my wife and I met uh, Matthew uh, a few weeks ago and I started seeing him uh, for some therapy uh, for a hip issue that I've been dealing with and I've been having a, a lot of really positive and, and very fantastic results and so I wanted to be sure I, I shared it with you guys so that you knew um, especially if you're feeling like you're, um, your back's against the wall uh, with some things that you've been trying to do and you just feel like you're, you're getting nowhere and you need something else to consider um, I, I think you should really give this some serious consideration so uh, with that uh, why don't we just dive in and, and dig into this. So Matthew um, why don't we just have you tell us about you and what you do here and how you know you got into this and what your background is and then we'll talk a little bit more about the, the actual therapy itself. sure yeah you know I mean looking at it now I mean as far as a location goes that uh, you know Madison laser therapy has been around for going on seven years now and it was you know through my business partner who established this location and us being friends for 15 years you know we we just started interacting and always talking about what could, more could be done in the world of medicine when it's outside of the healthcare that we're existing in right now in America. And so him and I would always get into these passionate conversations about, right. you know, what could, more could be done, how do we do it, what's the best way to go about doing it. And then having done research around what's out there for class three and class four lasers in the therapy realm is exactly where we started to dig in. So we fell in love with what class four lasers could really deliver to the human anatomy, the human conditions of pain, and really just dealing with the differences in what is progressive and modern medicine capabilities outside of normal healthcare kept pointing us back towards these classes of therapy lasers mm -hmm. that really could deliver those types of treatments. And the more we looked into it, the more treatments were even available. So looking at it from a background standpoint, you know, my business partner is strong in nutrition, and so he was always kind of like a, a vitamin and nutrition nerd. Mm -hmm. And then myself, you know, being a medical physicist, you know, I'm more into the whole diagnosis and technology medicine nerd side of things. Right. So both of us having those really strong passions towards what we do was a really good meld to how we could then approach people from a diagnosis standpoint that was based on, well, how's your nutrition? Mm -hmm. How's your body's handling this from the inside out? so that I could then come into it and say, like, well, what can we do now from the outside in? Right. And marry up with that really good relational experience from a care plan, checking on the results and seeing the results as we went along. So looking at it from how we got started with this was really just finding the right time and the right place to jump into an area where there was health-minded people in the environment, find a location where we could get started and really be embraced as far as what we're trying to do for people so that there was good support around it. Mm -hmm. But then more than anything else, start helping people and the word of mouth is what has really taken off the Cheers. best for us. Right. And you know, there's just so much proof in the pudding when you really start to see the results from these things that a lot of people don't know about these types of therapy systems that are out there mm -hmm. for actual applications mm -hmm. for their pain conditions that provides them a pain-free treatment option that people don't, once again, know about in America so much because it's not part of our normal healthcare curriculum. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the insurance curriculum that's out right. there, as well as it not being part of the big pharma and pharmaceutical industry out there either. They're not gonna know about it. So to give people more and more access to it has really been the driving factor of not just trying to get out there and promote it more, but to do the best job of what we can one patient at a time. Right. and get the best results possible. That's outstanding. So uh, a lot of questions already come up in my head and we've talked about a lot of this stuff already but it, it's just so important to revisit these things. Uh, the first being you know um, that you're no slouch. I mean you've dug into this and you know the science and the, the research behind it. It's not just some uh, black box so to speak and oh you're gonna feel a little bit of tingling or whatever and then you know we'll call you healed. Um, you've really looked into you know what 
you know, the, the physiology and the biological responses to this. Can you maybe, you know, touch on that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, so for those people that love biology and want to get into it a little bit more, you know, um, I often like to walk people through a little laser 101. And uh, when it comes through those types of things, especially as a new one, it's something not only that it, it, I love doing and telling people about, but it's the information that people deserve to know about. Okay, absolutely. And so when I kind of approach it from that laser 101 standpoint, I let people know that, you know, there's six classes of lasers out there. And, you know, class one, people kind of look at that because like, well, that's my, my DVD player or like those laser pointers. Mm -hmm. Class two would be more of a repeating measurement laser, which is more like our friends, the barcode scanners that are out there. Mm -hmm. But when you get into class three lasers, that's more of an instrumentation level. So an example that is relevant to this would be the low dose rate therapy lasers that are class three out there. Now working with what we have here, this is a class four that is a high dose rate therapy laser. And those class three and those class four examples of therapy lasers, they're based on the same science. The science has been around for over 30 years. It's nothing new. The biological response that our cells experience when treated with different penetrating beams of laser wavelengths of light, you get 